Good morning, Raiders. My name is Ayana, your anchor, and welcome back to another episode of The Weekly Wrap. This week, Ja, Abby, and Naya will take a look at National Anti-Bullying Week in their informative deep dive. Take a look. You think Ranger is doing a good job of stopping bullying? Uh, yeah, I feel like they're doing a a pretty good job, but I don't feel like Ranger's a place of like, like bullying or hate. Like it's, I see a lot of people see Ranger as like a pretty diverse like school, and like, where like you don't really judge others for like being who they are. So like, I feel like Ranger like does pretty good. With that. Why do you think it's important for people to participate in anti-bullying week? Well, I just think not just the week but in general every day is important um, as you are probably going to get to but we are no place for hate school which means that each and every day students staff our community we're trying to make sure that everyone feels welcome right. and so this week is a great time to spotlight mm -hmm. that if you see something you should say something because you want to have empathy, right? right? I think we've all sadly possibly been bullied before and it doesn't feel good and it's really important to have allies and people to stand by you and help you out. Um, I saw the show when um, like, like it was like a kid and it was another kid and it was just like, just making fun of him for, for being who they were. Right. Um, like, like just when you, like for like going out their way, like about like their sexuality like just made fun of them for being who they are, and it was a cool. We're going to be able to train 30 students that are interested across grade levels. So 9th through 12th, um, there'll probably be a few less spots for 12th graders mm -hmm. because we want to train people who will still be here next year, right. but we still do allow some. And from that, we would like to have some student-led organization or mm. activities come out of that. You can check out the full story on the Radar Review YouTube channel. After three long months, Drake fans have finally received a date for the postponed Denver stop of the It's All a Blur tour. The extension of the tour starts off in the Mile High City with two back-to-back -back nights January 18th and 19th. The original artist accompanying Drake, 21 Savage, will be replaced by award-winning rapper Jay Cole throughout the rest of the tour stops. The extension has been titled It's All a Blur, Big as the What, referencing the pair's collaborative song on Drake's new album. Those whose tickets were postponed in September already have access to tickets for the new dates and are offered refunds if unable to make it. Pre-sale tickets went on sale this Thursday as well as regular sale today at 11 a.m. But for now, let's enjoy this wonderfully chaotic segment from Sam and Angel. My wrist is on 100, a and cat. Welcome back to the Sam and Angel show on the weekly rap. Okay, I'm gonna need you to repeat after me. Red. Red. Blue. Blue. Green. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Black. Black. White. White. What color is the grass? Green. Repeat after me. Red. Red. Blue. Blue. Black. Black. White. White. Green. Green. Tan. Tan. What color is the grass? What color is the grass? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. Is that Angel from the Weekly Rap? Amen, script man, prip man. Say, say. Amen, script man, prip man. Say. Say. Oh my gosh, is that Sam T from the Weekly Rap? Sports fans love November with professional football, basketball, hockey, soccer, and baseball playoffs, not to mention college football, college basketball, and of course, starting at the end of the month is Rangeview Basketball. The boys will officially kick off the Rangeview winter sports season at home against the Thunder Ridge Grizzlies on Tuesday, November 30th. Rangeview brings back their top three scorers from last season, while Thunder Ridge brings back five starters, including University of Colorado commit Andrew Crawford. The Grizzlies will likely open the season as the number one team in the state after winning two out of three of the last state championships. Meanwhile, our girls program is led by a new coach for the first time in eight years with coach Tony Spates taking over after 16 seasons at the helm of Chaparral High School. Finally, here's a new episode of Isai and Friends. Today we have an exclusive sneak peek into the concession stand. So right here we have the ice bucket. It has no ice. It is very nice. Um, sometimes it's very tiring. Sometimes I get flustered on what I'm getting. This is the ins and outs of child labor. I'm hungry. What can I get for you today? Can I get a bag of hot Cheeto puffs? And a Twix iced coffee. We're gonna look for the Twix iced coffee per customer request. We got mustard or ketchup. Why do you like coming to the concession stands? 
because I never eat at home. He's gonna be doing it with car today. Wendy's pay card. You can see. Oh no! Oh, your card number. No. How do you feel about working the the concession sometimes? <laughs> I could never. Just kidding. I have to on Friday catch. <laughs> it's the pride and joy of the whole school. Without the concessions, we, the school is nothing. It's so cheap, so convenient. I would rather go there than walk ten minutes to King Supers. This is this is rush hour. This is rush hour. This is all a line for the concession stand. Okay, today we're camped out for the concession stand. We're in line. They finally opened the school store, everybody. It seems like we're gonna run out of Twix iced coffee pretty quickly today. You can't always get them, but you know, if we just show a wide angle of how many people are really going up these stairs excited for a snack, it is quite a bit. This is an investigative report. We appreciate all your sales at the concession stands. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching Raiders. If you want to see more exclusive content and stories, be sure to check out our website, The Raider Review. My name is Ayana, your anchor, and have a Raider if you weekend. Bye!